Hi there, I'm Chris. Welcome to Jumpstart. Today we're going to be chatting about how the National Energy Skills Center, the NESC, can help you jumpstart your career in the energy and industrial sectors, or maybe even start your own business. I think I need a jump start. Today we'll be chatting with Joel Manohar, subject matter expert in IT. Hi Joel, welcome to Jump Start. Good day, Crystal. So Joel, my first question is usually, are you a morning person or do you need help to jump start your day? Well, I need some help. Um, help basically is with my coffee. I have some um, some hot coffee at the morning and I'm off to flying start after that. Okay, sounds good. Well, <laughs> you would have had your coffee already for the morning, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. All right, well then let's jump right into it. So IT Network Specialist, what is that about? All right, so the IT program that we offer here at the NESC, it's second to none. Basically, it's focused on networking. Um, our, all our courses are in line with IT, but it's really a specialized course in networking. What is networking? Right, so networking, when you think about right now, we are networked um, via your phone, we are networked via the camera, we are networked, right now we are online. So basically we are networked. Um, there are so much devices that persons have, they're basically walking around with a network. But who is monitoring that? Who is securing that? Who is actually setting it up in our own personal capacity. We may put things together with, obviously we read the instructions in some cases, men, we tend to trade away and follow instructions after, right? Um, but basically, we are walking around with a network. We have our smartphones, we have our smart watches. We have, um, some persons have Alexa apps in their car. Some persons have when they reach home, they have their smart TVs, they have the DVR that is connected to the internet, they have laptops, they have uh, tablets, they have um, basically the number of phones in their home. So all of these things contribute to being part of a network. Um, basically, what we do in our IT program, we are actually training persons to secure the network and have the network fully functional. So our program really applies to the time that we are in now. We are in a time where school is basically online. Um, to have those systems up and running and to have persons connected to their teacher probably in a different county or probably, um, well, obviously in a different home, they must be connected and the network allows for that. So basically, we are training our students at the NESE to develop competencies to have us connected. And what are the job opportunities available to a IT network specialist? Right, so to an IT network specialist, one, you could become a network administrator with a corporation also. You could become a, a system analyst, a, computer, a IT technician. Uh, you could, but most importantly, you have an opportunity and you have developed competencies to become your own entrepreneur. Where if as we were saying before, when we think about the number of devices we may personally have, in extension our home may have, in extension our communities may have, we need to have persons that are competent enough to have those devices connected securely. I'm sure um, persons at this present time, they may have a a school child that is online and something may be happening to the computer that they don't even know who to contact and persons could set up their personal um, company they could start up their own companies and have persons connected just within their community there's already a market in there 
So it's just for you to develop and move forward. Right, and of course, we recently launched our Center for Entrepreneurship here at the NESC. So those students who are interested in starting their own IT firms, let's call them firms one yeah. time, you know, they would get the support that they need to start and grow an IT networking business. Oh, definitely. That would be a plus, definitely. Tell me about a typical class day for an IT network student. Right, so a typical class day, um, well, now we have blended learning. So we have some students that would be online and we have some students who would be doing practicals at a given point in time. So our online students, they are actually covering the theory in that day. The theory is basically, we have short theory sessions followed by some activity that persons are actually developing or having their way understand what is happening in the theory class. On the very next day, when those students come out to the campus, they are then engaged with the instructor on demonstrable objective, where, where the same theory that they were taught yesterday are now being demonstrated and they are now able to practice it in our lab. And that is one of the key things with us here at the NASC. We have a perfect, almost perfect alignment with our theory and practical. So sometimes, now I would have attended other institutions and stuff, and at the end of it, I know the theory, but the practical is something I might have been a bit shaky with, uh, because it's me trying to kind of guess to figure out where things are, or the picture that I would have seen in this book resembles something that I am now seeing. But at the NESC, we actually have those devices that persons could actually work with. So when they go out into the world of work, it's not that their first time they are seeing these devices, they would have already worked with that at the campuses. They're actually competent already. Actually it's not just competent. in their heads. No. So you are a subject matter expert. You have an extensive amount of experience in the field. Could you tell us a little bit about your own experience? So after you got trained, what did you do in industry? How, tell us about your career, basically. All right. So... When I, when I started working, so my training would have been prior 1997, mm -hmm. um, I started working while going to school in IT. I was working for um, an IT corporation back then. Um, I worked with them, graduated from, um, from school, started working with them for a number of years as a computer technician. Um, while there, we were sent on courses and stuff because back then, well, I'm not sure that you are in my realm <laughs> where we would have heard about Windows 95, Windows 3.1. Those are, were basically the footstool to where we are today. And I would have been back in that era where I would have seen that type of technology. And now those processors and stuff that I would have started working with, it's not even as fast as the smartphone, the smart watch that you have on. The processor is not, wasn't even as that fast. So I've seen that development over those years. I've, I started working as a network, as an IT technician, moved up to network technician, moved up to administrator. Um, I also did some consultancy as well as, I'm still doing consultancy, but I am at the NESC. When I started, I was an instructor and then moved up to a subject matter expert. What made you decide to get into education? Right. Um, in my time of work, I would have seen persons coming into the various places that I would have worked at. And they would have been trained, yes, but they, do, they did not know exactly how to interact with the equipment. So I find that to be a, a high level of deficiency in our education system. And I, when, given, when I was given the opportunity to come in at the NESC, and in my interview, I, I, I was explaining to the interviewer back then what was my dilemma in my field and he was he was letting me know that i would have the opportunity to develop competencies like that in our trainees and immediately i i jumped on board because i wanted persons to be able to do what they said that they could do and not just talk they need to walk the walk too right i'm going to ask you to um Go back in your memory a little bit and can you think of the a time when you were an instructor? Uh, any memorable moments from class that stand out for you with your students? With my students? Yeah, anything. Yeah, well, there were a number of... 
a, a number of things that would have stand out but one of the key things um, that stood out for me in my early time is I had a trainee and he was in my class he was traveling from really far coming down way down to Debi I was teaching down at Debi and you know he wanted to be out from the place that he was and he took that opportunity no, not 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 taken into consideration too much how far he had to go but this just showed that the distance that he wanted to you know get himself to in the field of IT and we had some I mean for the for the entire time that he was there he motivated trainees and that really you know bond that group together and today 90% of those trainees who you know continued at IT they are in really good positions right now and what is nice for me as an instructor is when I go out, out into you know, the normal world outside of the NASE, when those students see me, sometimes I may not remember them by name, but we remember them by face. And they would just say, remember so, so, so. And I mean, that is one of the most touching things, to know where they were and where they are today. I can well imagine. Mm. That's incredible. What advice would you give to someone who's on the fence about applying for this diploma program? And they just need a little push. A little push? Well, um, we should not have needed that push. But needing that push, if we just look, as I was saying earlier, if we just look at the number of devices that we have connected in our own homes, who, who is there monitoring the devices? Who is there supporting the users who is there you might be the young person in your little circle and you might be the one more techie and they might ask you most of the questions but you're just fiddling around we don't want you to fiddle around no more we want you to come here and develop your knowledge in repairing systems in installing systems in configuring systems and having these systems secure so that your little circle that you may have their data and so is secured in a particular way. Right. And it sounds like recession or no recession, pandemic or no pandemic, we're always going to need an IT network specialist, right? Exactly. All right, what, thank what we looked at um, earlier, what I was looking at is the statistics globally for IT technicians, mm -hmm. network technicians. And globally, that job opportunity grew by 4.3%. Think about that, 4.3% in the last of global year? growth in the last year. What is that saying for us? That is saying that right now, that is the direction that our young people should be heading. And no better time to, to take that opportunity than back out from CXC. You know, you, you just got your results and you want to get some into something that you like, that is excited. This field is not a field to sit down in. This field is a field to be moving. So technology is always growing and you need to grow with your technology. So this is for exciting people. Awesome. And I just want to throw in a plug here as well that our very own IT department at the NES is made up of graduates of our program, right? Yes, yes, yes. So we're buying what we're selling. So we're not just selling virtual stuff. We're Correct. Selling, we're buying exactly what yes, we're selling. So thank you so much, Joel, for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Chomp Start. Head over to the description box below and click on the link where you can get more information about the program and apply. If you have any questions at all, just slide into our DMs on Facebook or Instagram. We'll be happy to answer any and all questions that you have. Until next time, stay safe and bye for now.